let's talk about competition in uh -huh. this industry. Mm -hmm. Ten years ago, you may have been the first you know, company to come up with a free game, but I'm sure it didn't take long for other people to figure that out and yeah. try to copy you. Yeah. How do you keep ahead in you know, coming up with new games that are more creative, that, that's still better than your competitors? Well, um, one in the way, so you're right. I mean, Korea has always been this massively competitive environment for video games, uh, and so is China and so are some of the other places that we operate on. Um, so we're, we're pretty familiar with it. But the way that we figured out is we're going to be uh, sort of ruthlessly experimental. Again, what does that, that mean? Me meaning, so for example, uh, a game isn't doing well, let's kill it, and then let's you know, try, to, try something completely new, like introducing free items in it. That's, that's how we came up with the whole free-to-play right. business. So we usually try, from a video game perspective, instead of building a game that's just like somebody else's, mm -hmm. we, we try a lot of different things. Mm -hmm. And a lot of those experiments don't work out well. And then we cut it and we move on to the next one. But we don't put all our eggs in one basket. What type of person designs games? <laughs> That's a good sim question. Simple as that. I, I think question. that they're being polite. They're probably wanting to know how what many tattoos, case, right? how many body piercings. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> uh, I'm by far the most formally dressed person in the company, <laughs> and um, I'm dressing way up right now, so uh, you can tell what kind of... Do, do the people come in during daylight hours, or are they nocturnal? Yeah. Or what's, 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 it, you get all types. Okay. Uh, what, actually, it's really interesting. Um, video game design is a really interesting art form because it is really, you know, people talk about the combination of art and science, and so you get a lot of great artists who are also great engineers. Um, from a management perspective, that's a tough group to manage, uh, you can imagine sometimes, because Engineers can be hard to manage, and artists are hard to manage sometimes, yeah. and you're building art. And the kinds of debates that we get internally sometimes are people who um, create great art, and, uh, and they actually just want to create great art. Mm. And others just want to have a huge audience. And what we want to do is create great art that also has a huge audience. And most video game makers, that's the common denominator. If you're, if you're making great art, you want to have a huge, you want to have a lot of fans. Um, but in, across the video game industry, not just us, that's a, that's a tough balance, you know. And um, the way we approach it is we, we try this new experimentation a lot. Um, most video game makers got in the games business because they saw, they read Lord of the Rings, you know, years ago. And, or they saw Blade Runner 20 years ago and they said, boy, that was, I want to make the video game equivalent of that. And, um, uh, and so they, if you feed them that, and you can help them address a large audience, then that's, that's pretty compelling for them. Um, where the conflicts really happen is, you know, when you're, if you're doing a lot of sequels, they can right. be very financially rewarding, but it's not what your game designers necessarily got in the business to do. So they're not in love with the game. Mm. And that's a, that's a tough thing when you're making art. Here's another question. Why are so many games destructive? <laughs> um, it's like some of cable TV, it seems to kind of appeal to the amygdala in the brain. Yeah. Right? Why are, why are uh, so many games destructive? Well, you know, it's interesting. Um, violent, I think, is what the person was. Yeah, so violent, uh, so violent video games are part of the video game history. And um, I think it's because uh, in game design, you know, shooting and jumping and crashing into things um, uh, what was, was appealing and easy to design for, especially in a 2D uh, realm. And it also appeals to a sometimes younger mind. My, my two sons were constantly crashing into the things in each other and so on. So there's definitely that history. Hi, I'm Wendy from CBS, which is also GameSpot. Uh -huh. um, how do you see mobile impacting the, because uh, most of your games are played on PC, right? Yeah. Um, so obviously we know the impact that mobile's had on console gaming. How, if at all, is it affecting PC gaming and, and the um, massive multiplayer online space? I think it's a great question and it's probably the big existential question about video games right now. <coughs> um, what we see, there, there's, there's sort of a premise that, that a lot of people hold that uh, people are coming out of PC and into mobile. In fact, what we see in our data, I, I'm not sure about other companies, what we're seeing in our data is actually people who aren't coming out of PC. PC gamers also play mobile games. I play Angry Birds. I play our games. But I also still play PC games. I admit it. Um, but <laughs> You play more than um, games so you games. <laughs> so I, I was in that last category. So, um, but, it's, but mobile is bringing a massive new audience. You know, I think of my older sister. She's over 50. She never would be caught dead playing a, a, a game, the kinds of games that I uh, played growing up, but she's now playing Angry Birds on her phone. So that's clearly happening. And then as you look at the number, you know, you just walk down the streets in Tokyo and you see people of all types, all genders, all ages, playing, uh, playing casual games on their phone. Mm -hmm. So it's sort of, 
it's sort of throwing people, I think, in terms of what is really going on in the games industry. Our view is that the most interesting part is immersive games, games that you'll play for a long time. It's sort of like YouTube versus a long form movie or a comic book versus a, a, a long book. Um, and so both have their place and both are interesting, but a lot of people think that one is dying and the other is going up.